today we have just got a fresh bottle of the flax oil in and it comes with the handy dandy pump dispenser or you can order these extra. I've done alfalfa pellets, but you could also do chopped hay. Here is just whatever their, their normal hay is that they eat. And we're just gonna chop it up. This is making something called chaff or a mix of loose herbs. And I have lots of herb blend recipes on my website. And then we've put in a scoop of seaweed and then the high point grass vitamin and mineral in powder form sprinkled all over top. Final, before we take it out to the horses, I'm going to top dress this with flax oil. And this is not just cold pressed, all natural flax oil. It is organic and it is a fantastic good fat and they love it. And I'm giving Odie extra because her coat has gone a bit flaky, a bit scurfy. So I'm giving her a little bit of extra flax oil. So that's what it looks like. And we're gonna go give it, we've done all the feed dishes the same way. And we're gonna go give them to the horses who are waiting gleefully outside. Yeah, <laughs> good mama. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanna show them if you're enjoying that. Kalia is one of our wild mustangs and she routinely gives herself mud baths to protect her coat from the biting insects. She's very smart that way. And here's Zozy, our Andalusian. Let's see how much you got left. That's pretty good, hey? You can see there's some leftover compost bits there. It's like instead of putting it for the compost, we bring it to the horses. And they eat almost every peel as long as, you know, it's organic because they don't want to give them pesticides. But they will eat mango, papaya, cantaloupe, honeydew, watermelon, celery, cabbage, lettuce, um, green beans. They don't like asparagus and they don't like cucumber at all, and they don't like avocado. And then I found out later that avocado is actually very poisonous for horses. So they do know what they should eat and what they shouldn't. Zozie, are you holding your head at that angle to make sure that nothing drops out of your mouth by mistake? Yeah, because if you angle your head down, you might lose something while you chew. <laughs> and Odie's all done. <sighs> Just a little bit left. Looks like she even tried to lick up there, but couldn't get it all up. So I might hold that for her. But the other thing that can work, if you've got a little bit left over for them to be able to grab a hold of it, is to sprinkle some chopped hay in there. <laughs> She's like, let me at it. So you can see how much their bodies love this amazing nutrition that they just want to get every last drop of it out. Should I put some more in there for you? Just smoosh it around to pick up the remaining flax and vitamins. That is completely cleaned out. Yeah, you like that, hey mama? That's good stuff.